We're about to start a uh, speed test in the middle of the great Aussie Outback. On your marks, get set. This is the new Starling Mini and look at how tiny it is. It is quite unbelievable how they've been able to make such a device so small, be able to transmit and receive space internet to anywhere in the world. Making this the perfect equipment for any remote adventurers because now you can go on to your most craziest adventures, visit some of the most rural and remote places on earth and you still be able to connect with your loved ones and above all else, you'll be safe. And in the case of an emergency or an alien abduction, you can always phone home or call for help. Now, we're about to unbox the new Starling Mini, so stay tuned to find out what's inside the box, how's it like to stand up, and what's the speed like in a place called Australia. And if you stay tuned, we will show you how you can score a one month free Starling subscription. Hi, my name is Jeremy. Let's get unboxing. So in the box, you're going to get a Starling Mini with a built-in kickstand. And look at how small it is. <gasps> Next, there is a power brick and a pipe adapter. Now on the standard Starling, the pipe adapter has to be purchased separately. But with the Starling Mini, it's included. Unfortunately, it's made out of plastic. Aww. And finally, you also get a 15 meter power cable to power up the whole thing. Now, if you're wondering to yourself, where is the router? Well, the router is now built into the Starling Mini. And the entire satellite dish with the router weighs only 1.1 kilograms, which is lighter than the MacBook Air. And it's a whopping 3 kilograms lighter than the standard Starling. And you can easily carry this in your backpack, take it in your car, or mount it outside. And if you're planning to leave it outside, the Starling Mini is IP67 rated, so it will have no problems with rain and dust. The portability and mounting options for this Starling Mini are endless. And for us, we're gonna mount it on our van so that we can have internet while driving, so that we can pull out maps, trail conditions, and weather reports on the run. Now, in order to bring your Starling Mini on your backpacking trip, you will need a USB-C to barrel connector cable like this. Starlink will sell this to you for $52, but we got this one off AliExpress and it's only $14, which is a bargain. And with this cable, you can now ditch the power brick and plug the Starlink Mini straight into your power bank, which means you can have internet literally anywhere, even in places where you don't have access to 240 volts. The Starling Mini has an average power consumption of 35 watts, which is pretty low compared to the other Starlings. So with a 24,000 milliamp power bank like this, theoretically, it will give you a little over two and a half hours of usage. However, if you have a 200 amp hour battery like the ones in our van, the Starling Mini will last you 68 hours, which is really convenient if you're planning to travel off grid. Now, to set up your Starling Mini is also super simple, barely an inconvenience. And I promise you, you won't need a computer science degree to figure things out. You will, however, need to download your Starling app from an App Store or the Google Play Store. Next is to make sure that your Starling is pointed up into the sky with no obstructions. And then you just need to connect your phone to the Starling's Wi-Fi and follow the prompts. And once you've keyed in all your details and have selected a plan, you are basically on space internet. Pew 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 pew! Woo! Now, let's do the speed test. And we're currently on the Starling Mini. And for an open area like this in Australia, you can expect... Drum roll please! What did it say? Speed test failed! Let's do it again. Oh, oh, oh. And drum roll please. We are getting 180 megabits per second, which is pretty fast. You can definitely do uh, Zoom meetings. You can download your favorite movies and you can have FaceTime with grandma. Now, if you don't want to have FaceTime with grandma, how about FaceTiming with your car? Let me explain. So, if you install a security camera like this in your vehicle, 
you can live stream what's happening in your car, assuming that you're going to leave your Starlink in your vehicle because your Starlink will constantly beam updates to your phone. And when it's at night, you can stick this outside and keep an eye on your belongings. How cool is that? Now, your internet speeds will always vary depending on your location. In an open area like this, we've reached over 200 megabits per second. And when parked under a tree, we're getting half as much. And it's different again when we're in motion. Now, there are two types of plan for the Starlink Mini. There is a unlimited roam, which goes for $195, and a 50 gigabyte roam for $80. Unlimited roam gives you unlimited internet, and the ability to use your Starlink while in motion. And you can use it up to speeds of 160 kilometers per hour. And when you decide to stop traveling, you can pause your plan at any time and you'll be charged at a pro rata rate. The other plan is a 50 gigabyte plan for $80 with options to purchase additional data when you run out. Now, if you're a weekend warrior and you need this for a bit of light communication, like checking the trail report, the weather conditions, and a little bit of light internet, well, the 50 gigabyte plan will be perfect for you. But you definitely won't be watching too much Netflix on it. But why should you when you're in the great outdoors? Now, the Starlink Mini will cost you $800 which isn't cheap, but the nearest alternative would be to get a satellite phone, which will cost you $2,000. And you still can't get data on that. Or you can get a personal satellite device like this, which will cost you $700, which will give you weather updates and SMS and emergency communication, which is probably enough for backpackers, especially if you don't want to lug around a one kilogram dish like this on your back, but it still won't give you data. The other alternative would be to get a 4G router plus a 4G signal booster, which is even more expensive and the results aren't guaranteed because the further that you travel away from the cell towers, the weaker your signal is going to get. No signal. Now, we think the Starlink Mini is something out from science fiction. How could something this small be able to transmit and receive internet signals from space, from satellites that are zooming past our heads, traveling at 22 times the speed of sound? But in 2024, this is our reality. And it has allowed people like us to boldly travel into places where no 4G signal has ever gone before. And I think that is very cool. Now, if you're interested in getting one of these, simply hop on to Starlink.com and you can order yourself a new kit. And if you use our referral link below, you will score yourself a one month free space internet. Pew 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 pew! pew. Thank you for watching our show. We hope it has been helpful for you. And if it has, please don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and please do subscribe so you can stay tuned for more videos like this. Thank you. Bye. Help me. Help me.